Hello and welcome to Girl with a Pearl Earring by Meredith Benton. Girl with a Pearl Earring is a painting by Johannes Vermeer that uses elements and principles of design to express beauty and timeless mystery. This painting can be evaluated under several theories of art criticism, including the formal, contextual, and expressive theory. This painting has recently become extremely popular and recognizable, even being compared to Mona Lisa on some accounts. This painting is iconic in its mystery to the point that a novel was even written about one of the view about one viewer's interpretation of the story behind the girl with this enigmatic gaze. The woman pictured is imaginary, but she feels extremely real, and the depth of her of her expression draws the viewer in. Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring was painted using oil paints. The painting is 44 and a half centimeters high and 39 centimeters wide, or 17 and a half by 15 inches, and it is signed by Vermeer but not dated. It is estimated to have been painted around 1665. This work is two-dimensional and it is representational since it portrays a clear subject. Several elements of design are prominent in this piece, including shape, color, texture, and value. The shape of the earring adds an element of three-dimensionality to the piece because it is shaded in a way to give it a form that, that catches the eye. The organic shape of the girl's fig figure is also emphasized by the black background, giving her a distinct outline. The colors of this piece are relatively soft, with the primary colors pictured being the pastel yellow and the blue of her clothes, her light skin, and her soft red lips. Despite these colors remaining soft, however, the pitch black color of the background contrasts the colors to bring the eye directly towards the subject. The texture of the painting gives it a surrealism that aids in giving such a direct, ob direct subject a well of depth. The clothing, the skin, and the pearl all, are all painted to perfectly reflect real life textures and add dimension to the piece. I touch upon this while discussing the colors in the painting, but the value of the shades it used is a defining point of this piece. The painting is high contrast due to the great difference in value between the main subject and the background. The artist chose to use a black background in order to make the girl pictured stand out as much as possible. So moving on to the subject of the painting. This painting depicts a young woman wearing an exotic dress, an oriental turban, and a large pearl earring. The image shows her from the shoulders up with her body angled away from the viewer, but her eyes looking at the viewer. The entire painting has sort of a mysterious feel, especially because the angle of the woman's body makes it feel like she's inviting the viewer to wherever she is going. So now for some historical context. This painting was one of many works created during the Dutch Golden Age. Some other artists of this age include Rembrandt van Rijn, Frans Hals, and Jan Steen. This period was largely focused on artists painting everyday scenes of ordinary life in secular subjects, expressed through a growing group of genre works, which indicates a thriving creative period. A few of the key elements of design present in this piece include directional forces, contrast, emphasis, and balance. The primary use of directional forces in this piece is through the implied lines created by both the gaze of the girl and the direction her body is facing. The girl's gaze creates an implied line that is directed towards the viewer. The angle of the girl's body creates an implied line that trends away from the viewer and towards the left of the painting, as shown here. Contrast is extremely prevalent here due to the, due to the difference in value between the colors of the subject and the colors of the background. This brings more attention to the focal points of the painting and forces the viewer to engage with the girl's expression. Emphasis present in this, is present in this piece through the main focal points of the piece, Emphasis is placed on the pearl earring, of course, because it contrasts with the dark air area of her shadowed neck with the way it appears to catch light. Emphasis is also placed on the girl's eyes through contrast, because they are much darker than the skin and eyebrows. Her eyes are shaded in a way that she looks alive and full of emotion, an element that takes a special skill to truly recreate with a two-dimensional medium. The balance of this piece is asymmetrical which is supported mostly by the implied line of the angle of the girl's body. The piece would carry much less dimension if the girl was facing the viewer head on rather than the asymmetrical positioning of her head and body. 
The complexity and meaning of this piece is ironic in comparison with the simplicity of the piece's subject. The painting's meaning is held entirely in its ambiguity, which allows the meaning to be infinitely complex and infinitely simple at the same time. The girl, with the painting being a trony, is an icon meant to represent pure beauty, innocence, and timelessness, and mystery. The earring may symbolize innocence, and the soft feature of the girl's face make her appear innocent, though the depth of her eyes also make her look intelligent, as if she is communicating a message to the viewer. The mystery behind her enigmatic expression is what draws so much speculation about the piece, because it feels eerie yet familiar. In Vermeer's world, Karen Wilkin perfectly expresses this message, seen in Vermeer's paintings when she states, He allows us to become the unseen observers of a continuous, uneventful present turns us into witnesses to the quiet domestic rituals enacted within spaces we begin to find familiar. The title of this piece has been changed over, over time. While the piece used to be called The Girl with the Turban, it is now known as Girl with the Pearl Earring. This title is important because it perfectly encompasses the ambiguity of the painting as a whole. The subject is, is anonymous, the message is unclear, and the motion, emotion is mysterious. To give the painting any more specific of a name, would take away from the timeless mystery portrayed in the work. In Masterpiece, The Sublime and the Ordinary, Lancis Splund states, he paints things, bread, cloth, table, and wall, flesh, light, space, and air, without pretense. Yet, somewhere along the way, the forms become elevated, transfigured, while lesser painters attempt to give weight to objects and volume to form to create light and space on the canvas, Vermeer explores extremes, balancing the humble with the mysterious. He raises us to ecstatic heights as he roots us firmly in the soil. This shows us how the face subject of the painting was to be general or ordinary, and it is the qualities that elevate the painting. It is impossible to describe these qualities in a title, so no more is needed for this painting than simply Girl with the Pearl Earring. Next, I would discuss the piece through the eyes of three different theories of art criticism. Firstly, the formal theory observes art based on its design elements and design principles, and how these are considered in relation to the style, period, or movement of the work. This work, to me, is successful through the eyes of the formal theory, most successful out of the three. Each part of the work enhances the qualities of the parts around it. This is seen in the background, the contrast of the girl's eyes, and the focal point of the earring, and the way that it is emphasized. If a single element of this work was changed, it would, carry this, it would not carry the same magic and mystery that it does. Even changing the color of the girl's clothes or the color of the background by a slight shade would throw off the feel of the painting. The painting is unified and portrays a central emotion that draws the viewer in, and this emotion and its pleasure comes from the, object, from the art object itself and the way the artist shaped the parts of the subject, like her ambiguous facial features and the contours of her clothes. The technical execution and the visual organization are as pristine as I feel is possible for this piece to portray this message, making the piece ultimately successful through this theory. The contextual theory lays importance on the social function and intention of the piece in the context of the time in which it was created. During the time that this piece was created, the Netherlands were in a golden age. During this time, Dutch trade, science, art, and military were among the most acclaimed in the world. While less affected by the Baroque movement overall than other areas in the world, the Netherlands did experience artistic influences of the time. Church art and sculptor, sculpture became less prominent and still life and portraiture flourished. The transition between periods is seen in the paintings of Vermeer himself as he moves from large historical paintings towards smaller, more intimate subjects. While this piece fits the culture of the time very well, it is the weakest through the eyes of the contextual theory because it fails to portray a message that will advance a social cause. There is not a call to action, as would be expected in a piece that is successful through this theory, and this piece was not meant to change human behavior in a public or visible way. The expressive theory stresses the value of communication of ideas and feelings in a work. The girl with the pearl earring can be considered successful under this theory. The work holds a depth and intensity that draws the viewer in, leaving some standing before the painting for hours just to enjoy the mysterious emotion created by the piece. This painting is based on reality and is able to make an everyday portrait extremely compelling. The viewer inevitably feels an emotion upon considering this painting, which is the primary goal of a successful work under the expressive theory. 
The Girl with the Pearl Earring is a timeless piece that has and will continue to enthrall people for generations. Vermeer takes simple everyday scenes and uses elements and principles of design along with unmatched technical and organizational execution to achieve an impression that is far beyond the secular qualities of the subject. The Girl with the Pearl Earring enchants the reader with questions, refusing to yield answers. The use of elements and principles of design to express the beauty and timeless mystery of the piece as well as its success under different principles of criticism, distinguishes this work from others of its kind and carves the path to a unique legacy. The following is my works cited page. Thank you.